What's going on guys? Fox Racing. Welcome back to the channel today. You know, as you can see right here guys, it's a photo of, um, a, a, it appears to be um, a Mustang. Um, it's 2021 Mustang uh, Mac E. It's an EV vehicle. You know, honestly, I've seen this a uh, couple, uh, couple of these uh, Mac E's um, around the city. Um, and all that third, maybe uh, some of the uh, you know the medallion owners uh, they decided to switch from like internal combustion combustion vehicles into EV vehicles so because I've seen a lot of these drivers that owned actually their own vehicles they switch into EVs like Tesla's um, other EV vehicles would more likely that um, save them you know gas but um, I seen a couple of them but all I thought it was just people switching to EV vehicles but then what I found out you know that this um uh, this is actually it's a wave of these uh, EV vehicles. They're gonna be introduced to New York City streets, and they're gonna. Well, basically, uh, this company it's called Gravity Technologies, and it's basically it's a sustainable mobility startup focusing on EV fleets and supporting infrastructure. So this company it's owned actually by this guy. His name is Mosh. Um, Cohen and I'm from from him being a lawyer to becoming a professor of economics and finance at Columbia um, teaching um, you know like PhD students and and basically he was basically uh, graduated from uh, one of the uh, law and well, he had a law degree from uh, um, from Hebrew University also so he's been around so um, what what I what they did is basically what I thought the because this this is going to be like a, about around 50 of these EV vehicles combined with Tesla's Y models and Mac uh, and these uh, Mustang uh, Mac E EV vehicles and they will they're going to be offered to drivers basically as a lease. Uh, that's what I I I I, I pretty much. I think it's gonna be I mean obviously because it's always been uh, the the system of the tax and missing commission around the world you know where you basically if you don't own like for instance in New York City if you don't own your own vehicle you basically you go lease the vehicle from a company from a fleet and you either choose to work days or night you know so it's 12 hour shift um, so this company it's focusing on because I won't be surprised because the fact you know when uber came in kind of disrupt all the business you know especially when it comes to yellow cabs um so um you know from the beginning honestly myself i've always mentioned in my videos and i talked about taxi limousine commission and the taxi industry here in new york city because i've always said in my videos that more likely um which basically is it's gonna happen where um, it's gonna be full 360 with these yellow cabs. They're gonna come back very strong, and honestly, um, all the all the consumers they want is they want clean cars, and these cars they're gonna be equipped like any other cars. Like I, like for instance, the same car I drive myself. You know, it's basically very. Um, it would be a car that more likely people would um, uh, hail, you know, for um, on the streets of New York. So, um, but obviously at this point, um, a taxi and limousine commission. Uh, well, the, the, this company, uh, Gravity, what they're gonna do basically is they're gonna put out fifty cars. And they're gonna have like sort of uh, um, almost the same thing like uh, Revel. They're doing this. Um, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, they have. They're gonna have to build an EV, um, EV, EV super fast charging stations uh, in New York City. Which is only gonna be one actually on Forty Second Street, where they're gonna be able to actually um, um, uh, do some of these charging for their vehicles. Um, and, and honestly, I've always been saying this from the beginning. So. Um, I'm, I won't be surprised uh, because the fact that these medallions they plummeted from like $850,000 um, all the way down to like almost um, $125,000 you could buy a medallion right now for $125,000 these two type of medallions right now you could buy you could buy either an, an accessible medallion which is just a regular car um, accessible medallion I'm saying uh, I'm sorry uh, the accessible uh, medallion happened to be the one um, which is the WAV the accessible the wheel uh, chair accessible vehicle and the inaccessible which is to happen to be just a regular vehicle basically and they both um you could buy them for very cheap nowadays you know they cost about a hundred and um the uh, the the WAV which is the uh, wheelchair accessible vehicle they 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 
cost that you could buy one today for around like 160 160 five thousand dollars because obviously if you buy an accessible vehicle more likely tlc will offer you thirty thousand dollars cash and tax and museum commission doesn't want it to know exactly what what you're going to do with that thirty thousand dollars basically if i were to buy um, a medallion myself i would have just invested in an accessible vehicle by getting thirty thousand dollars from tax and limousine commission i could actually invest that thirty thousand dollars back into my medallion so i could just lower the payment the interest rate whatever but if you buy an accessible vehicle it will probably cost you one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars it will be just a regular car right so um like i said you know this medallion is um they've never um they they part of the archive the tax and limousine commission if you own one it's always yours and tax and limousine commission has almost over um, 15,000 medallions so far from the time they were 15,000 they added almost like 800 so you're looking at about 16 thousand medallions in New York City um, so um, at this point you know all I think about this gravity technologies that they basically uh, they took advantage of this opportunity and they decided to go along with this uh, EV vehicle inf infrastructure that they try and, uh, um, uh, to, to, to basically introduce this vehicle into New York City and they come up with this um, um, this EV, uh, EV vehicles to basically offer them to some of these cab drivers in New York City. So um, I just wanted to let you know, guys, you know, um, about what I actually heard recently. And you won't be surprised if you see this cars all over New York City. Um, and, and there's something that most New Yorkers more likely they will look, they're looking forward to. So um, it's just some kind of sort of short video, guys. I just wanted to let you know what took place with the Tax and Museum Commission and what the Gravity is planning on doing. And, and and I think uh, it's it, you know the competition is always good, uh, but I think um, it's a it's it's sustainable and and I'm sure they will succeed you know because obviously people now they're just looking to buy you know to get into clean vehicles and this is some something that the mon most New Yorkers they be, they're going to be looking forward to. Um, guys, I just wanted to uh, let you know what about this new news uh, you know with the new. Um, fleet called Gravity Technologies. Um, so, uh, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend, um, rest of the week, basically, right? Enjoy the rest of your uh, 2021. Um, happy um, holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, God bless the United States of America, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.